What's going on guys, it's Revenant back at it again, and today I'm bringing to you Dinosaur Leveling. Now, this is a subject that not a lot of YouTubers seem to touch, since it's not a very known subject. It's mostly about how leveling differs between dinosaurs. So if you were to have a raptor and a trike, their weight would level differently per level. Now, this information is really important if you're trying to get the most out of your dinosaur, especially if you want your dinosaur to be effective in a certain area, if you want it to be a tank, or if you want it to be a super fast killer, something like that. So. I'll probably put two to three dinosaurs per video depending on how long they are and how many rolls the certain dinosaur can run. So let's get started off with the Parasaur and the Raptor, since these are the two starting dinos, the earliest ones you can get. Now before we get started guys, I just wanted to let you know that these values are based on level 30 dinosaurs. Now the values will increase depending on what level your dinosaur is. If you tame a higher level dinosaur, it will increase these values by higher percentage. So if you were to have a level 30 dino, it will increase its health for every level by maybe 50. But if you have a level 80 dino of the same type, it'll increase the amount of health by 80 per level maybe. So starting off with the Parasaur. Now the Parasaur is a mount everybody uses at lower levels. It helps you travel the island faster as well as carry some of your initial stuff and keep you safe at lower levels. You can level the health, stamina, oxygen, food, weight, melee damage, movement speed, and torpor. Now, the most useful stats you would be leveling on the Parasaur would be the health, the stamina, weight, melee damage, and movement speed. As any other dino, the Parasaur divides into different roles, which include the transport, the traveler, or the berry gatherer. Each one of these roles includes different leveling in different areas, as well as different stats that you need to focus on in order to increase the effectiveness in a certain area so you can get the most out of your dino. So to start off with transport, transport Parasaur, you should be leveling health, stamina, and weight. Now the health is to keep you alive, obviously. The stamina is so you can run a lot longer with the amount of weight that you have. And the weight, of course, is for carrying more objects longer distances without using the same amount of stamina. Now, if you're looking at travel, you want to be leveling stamina, movement speed, and health. Now, I'm going to be saying health a lot because the Parasaur is not very healthy on its own, and it can be killed extremely easy if you're not leveling any health. So, when you're transporting yourself, or rather traveling, you want to be leveling health, stamina, and movement speed. Now, stamina, obviously, is so you can run longer distances. Movement speed is so you can travel a lot faster. Keep in mind, this is not like the transport. You cannot carry as many items on top of it, but it will move faster than the transport. And last but not least, uh, we've got the berry gatherer. Now, this is similar to the transport and the exception where you won't be leveling health as much since you're not likely to be in the wild. Now, when you're leveling into berry gatherer, you want to level melee damage because the higher the melee damage, the more berries it gathers per hit. You also want to be leveling weight since you want to carry all these berries and you want to be leveling stamina so you can be running for longer distances to your house. Now, the reason I level stamina on the Parasaur when it's a berry gatherer is so you'll be able to attack more plants more constantly without having to rest in between. It'll also allow you to run between plants if they're far away from each other without having to rest every 2 or 3 seconds. That would do it for the Parasaur guys. Now you can put different levels in other stats in order to kind of mix your dino. It's all up to your preference. I'm just giving you a general guide for the roles that the Parasaur can actually take and how to get the most out of these rolls. Now to start off with the Raptor guys, you can level the health, stamina, oxygen, food, weight, melee damage, movement speed, and torpor. Now the Raptor has three main roles, it can be a killer, it can be a hunter, and it can also be used for very fast transport. Now the difference between the killer and the hunter is that the killer is mainly just to level up really fast. You want to kill as many things as fast as you can. And now obviously the hunter also wants to kill things a lot, but it's mostly to gather meat and hide. To start off with the killer guys, your main focus wants to be on health and damage. This is because you want to be able to kill 
everything in your path as fast as possible so you can gain as many levels as you can. The killer's main focus is giving you experience, so you want to be able to tank some damage, but deal a lot of damage at the same time. If you want, you can throw in some stamina points in there in order for it to be able to fight for longer periods of time if you're trying to fight higher level dinos or just bigger dinos in general. Moving on to the hunter guys, you want to be putting more points into melee damage than into health. This is because I had mentioned before with the Parasaur, your melee damage makes you gather more for every hit. If your raptor has a higher melee damage, you gather more meat and hide off of dinosaurs. Same as the killer, you can also put some stamina points up in there so it'll be able to attack for longer and stay in fights for longer. And the only difference between the killer and the hunter is that you'll be putting more points into damage when you're a hunter than if you were to put more points into health when you're a killer. Now last but not least is the Travel Raptor. Now Raptors are obviously known for their extreme speed in the game. Uh, once you tame them, they start with a default of 120% speed. Now as I have mentioned in my previous video, which I'll post right in front of you, you can see that taming effectiveness puts random points into your tame dino, so you might have a higher speed than usual, it might be higher than 120%, it could be up to even 150%, it just depends on how many bonus level your dino gain. So that would do it for the three rolls for the Raptor, of course, same as the Parasaur, you can put different points and different stats, so you can get kind of a different mix for your kind of Raptor depending on your preference, it's all up to you guys, I'm just giving you a general guide. I'll be posting a lot more videos like this one where I'll be talking about other dinos and other ways you should level them. If you guys have any suggestions on which dinos I should do next, please leave a comment below. I'm very likely to do at least three dinos in the next video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this was helpful to you. This is Revenant. I'll see you guys in the next one.